What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, you guys, I'm gonna give you my top five tips to achieve your weight loss goal, assuming that you guys are getting started with a plan to try to lose weight. As some of you guys may or may not know, I used to weigh 430 pounds at six foot six. I got myself down all the way to 240 pounds, which achieving a 200 pound weight loss, okay? So I've been through this. I know how it's gonna go for you guys. I can help you. And that is the number one reason why I'm not only here making videos for you every single day, but I'm also making this video so I can give you guys some tips and suggestions that you may not have thought of, or may just be some tips or suggestions that other people just haven't really talked about. Much. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and talk about my five tips for weight loss. Tip number one is always going to be to mentally prepare yourself. What do I mean by mentally prepare yourself? What I mean is mentally, you got to get yourself ready. You got to get yourself in the zone. What I want you guys to do is I want you guys to pull out a calendar, even if it's the one on your phone, and I want you guys to mark your start date, okay? Now, there's gonna be a lot of things that you need to prepare for before that date. So don't do this on a Friday and then plan to get started on Monday. It's just not gonna work out that way. Give yourself a little bit of time to mentally prepare yourself to be in the right position in order to achieve your weight loss. The first thing you guys need to understand is that losing weight is going to be a roller coaster. Some weeks you're going to lose weight. Some weeks you may even gain a little bit of weight. And some weeks the scale might not move at all. You need to prepare yourself for this so that you understand that this type of thing is going to happen. You want to make sure that you understand the foods that you're going to eat, the macros that you're going to try to shoot for, the calorie intake goal that you're going to try to shoot for. And a lot of these numbers are going to be kind of guesses based on a little bit of education that you may get from me or other people. So you got to get yourself together and get a starting point to go from. Over time, you're gonna make adjustments to that those overall things so that you're progressing in the path that you want to progress. But you cannot get started until you have all of the plan laid out and that you know exactly what it is that you're gonna to try to do, okay? You wanna make sure that you're comfortable and understanding with how much carbs you're gonna eat, protein you're gonna eat, how much fats you're gonna eat, and your overall calorie intake goal. You wanna make sure you have a food scale, that you have meal prep containers, that you have all of the things that you're gonna need to get started. Last thing you need to mentally prepare yourself for is the long haul. Because you guys have to understand that this process is gonna take longer than you think. You are not going to lose weight and change the entire way that you look within two months, three months, four months, or maybe even six months. Yes, you are going to start noticing your progress, right? We're going to start seeing changes pretty quickly. But to get to where you wanna be ultimately is going to be a longer ride than most people think. So mentally prepare yourself for that and make sure that you guys are understanding that this is gonna be a process that's gonna take time to learn. You want to understand your body and how your body is responding to the things that you're doing and then how it's also going to respond to the changes that you make of the things that you're doing so that you can get a record or a logbook of how your body is, is responding and that's gonna give you guys a foundation to build on. The more information that you can take and gather about yourself and how you respond to certain foods, certain types of cardio, certain types of training, things like this, the more education you're gonna have over your body in general. And that is going to be a really big tool that you're gonna be able to utilize later on down the line. So it's really important. Make sure you guys take the time to mentally prepare yourself and get yourself ready to go. Tip number two is going to be to wake up early. Yeah. No more sleeping in, Cupcake. It's time to get up out of bed, get your day started, and get moving. There's a lot of you guys that may try to sleep till 10, 11 o'clock. Maybe you don't work till later on at night, or maybe you just, you know, you, you don't have that much work going on in general. Or maybe you just, you just the way your shifts are, the way your shifts line up at work. I'm imploring you guys to start going to bed earlier and start waking up earlier. Remember that losing weight isn't just about losing weight. It's about making your life better. It's about improving your quality of life. And a big fundamental step in that for me has always been to wake up early. I was always the guy that didn't wake up till nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. I didn't have really anywhere to be in the morning, so I would always sleep in. This resulted in me not treating my body correctly and allowing me to not even pay attention or notice that I was gaining weight. Not only was it, you know, the gaining weight process giving me a worse quality of life, 
but sleeping in made me an underachiever instead of being able to start taking on tasks early in the morning to become an overachiever. The people that are in the gym that are training, that are working hard, that are following a structured meal plan, that are doing these things are overachievers. They are going beyond what a normal person would do in order to achieve success. And remember that once you start achieving success with weight loss and you start proving to yourself that you can do this because a lot of you think that you can't, you're gonna start understanding that there is unlimited possibilities of things that you thought you would never be able to do and you're gonna be able to do them. Not only are you gonna be able to do them, but you're gonna be able to do them well. These things start with waking up early. So just to give you guys an example, Monday through Friday, I'm in bed typically by about nine o'clock at night and I wake up at about 5.30 to 6 a.m. By the time the normal people wake up at 10 o'clock, I've already done my cardio, I've already answered 100 emails, I've already structured my entire day, I have already meal prepped my food, I've already packed it into containers. You see, my day is pretty much 50% over by the time the rest of the people are just starting to wake up. Waking up early is gonna be a massive tool for you guys, and it's also gonna be a challenge for a lot of you. I implore you to embrace that challenge, to take on that challenge, to just hit it right on the nail on the head, all right? And make sure you guys execute this because if you can start getting your day started earlier, you're gonna have more time in the day to get more things done. I hear every single day, I don't have time to go to the gym, I don't have time to do cardio. That's because you sleep too much. Wake up earlier and you're gonna have time to execute that cardio and to also go to the gym if you need to go to the gym first thing in the morning. And another thing about going to the gym in the morning is that a lot of you guys, tend to be really tired by the end of your work day and it causes you to miss the gym. It was the same thing for me over and over and over again until finally I started waking up early years ago and I would go to the gym and get that done first thing in the morning, get my cardio done first thing in the morning. So now everything's done and out of the way. I come home, I shower, I go to work and by the time I come home, all I have to do is sit and hang out with my family, spend time with my family and you know embrace that time. So. Waking up early is going to be a massive deal for you guys. And I wanna make sure you guys understand that it's not you know, me saying, hey, quit being lazy, get out of bed early. I'm just saying it's gonna give you more time. And when you have more time in the day, you're gonna be able to achieve more things. Go to sleep earlier, wake up earlier. It's just that simple. And that's tip number two. Tip number three for weight loss is that cardio is your friend. I know a lot of you guys are rolling your eyes right now. You're like, Nick, I can't stand doing cardio. It drives me absolutely bonkers. It's so boring, it's so tedious. I understand that. Cardio sucks. I'm not saying that it doesn't, but what I'm telling you is, is that you have to switch your mentality when it comes to cardio. Because if you don't, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Instead of saying things like, oh my God, cardio sucks. I don't wanna do any more cardio. Say things like, you know what? <sighs> Cardio is a little rough, but it's a necessary thing and I have to just go get it done. When you start thinking positively and you start talking more positively, you're gonna be able to accomplish more things, including cardio. Not only are you gonna be able to accomplish the cardio, you're gonna be able to execute that cardio at the highest level. Instead of just stepping at one or two miles an hour and really not increasing that heart rate or really making much of a difference, you're going to attack that cardio and get it done and out of the way. I don't care how you guys do cardio. There are a million ways to do cardio. One of my top ways is going to be either on the Stairmaster or it's going to be on a treadmill, simply at max incline at like 3.5 miles an hour for 25 to 30 minutes a day, first thing in the morning when I wake up. That's just how I do it. But however you choose to do your cardio, whether it's the elliptical, whether it's a bike, whether it's just walking around your neighborhood, things like this, the biggest thing is trying to switch that mindset into thinking that you enjoy cardio. And I know that sounds crazy for a lot of you that absolutely hate it, but you gotta understand that everybody hates cardio, everybody. When you start changing the way you feel about cardio or you start talking about cardio, you're more likely to execute that cardio and get that cardio done because you know it's necessary, okay? Cardio is your friend. When you speed up your heart rate, you're going to allow yourself to burn more calories and you're going to ultimately burn more fat. A lot of people don't know that most like 85%, somewhere in that general ballpark of fat is exhaled through your mouth when you're breathing. So when you speed up your heart rate, you start breathing heavier and when you're exhaling, that gas is, or sorry, that fat is turned into a gas and you exhale it. You can look this up, I swear to God, it's true, all right? It blew my mind when I first learned it too. So cardio is going to be a very viable way for you to do that. Weightlifting is not cardio. 
So if you are thinking that you're getting good amount of cardio because you're weightlifting, weightlifting is not supposed to be a cardiovascular exercise. It is a muscle building exercise. Cardio is a cardiovascular exercise, and you need to make sure that you're executing that cardio, either pre-workout in the morning or post-workout before you go to the gym and train, or sorry, after you are done training at the gym. I don't really like to do cardio before I train. I wanna save as much energy for my weightlifting, and then I will execute that cardio after I'm done weightlifting. Regardless of how you structure your schedule, the most important thing is changing your mindset and how you think about cardio. Instead of hating cardio and not wanting anything to do with cardio, understand that cardio is your friend and it is a necessary part of staying fit, staying healthy, and staying active. And at the end of the day, as alongside you, you know, losing weight and dropping body fat from achieving and doing this cardio, that cardio is gonna make you live longer. It's gonna make your heart stronger. It's gonna make all your body in general healthier. So cardio is gonna be really, really important and I wanna make sure you guys understand that because there's a lot of people that are like, ah, oh, I don't do cardio, I just work out, I just do this. Listen, it's just, it's not gonna work. You gotta do cardio, you have to do it. So make sure that you guys switch your mindset into thinking you know, and telling yourself that it's a necessary part of health and fitness. So get on there, embrace it, execute it, crush that cardio, and watch what happens to your physique over time from you doing just that. That's tip number three. Tip number four for weight loss is going to be lifting weights is crucial. Crucial, let's circle the word crucial. Because on the flip side to doing cardio, there's a lot of you that will do cardio, but you will never touch a weight. You think that you wanna lose the fat first, and then you wanna start lifting weights because you're gonna get bulky and you're gonna put on muscle. Listen, you guys, I'm gonna be the first one to tell you that it's going to take you years to build enough muscle to look a certain way that a lot of you guys probably wanna start looking. It's gonna take time, it's gonna take consistency, but lifting weights is crucial when you're trying to diet. I don't care if you're 400 plus pounds or you're just 200 pounds, but you know maybe you're a little shorter side of things and, and you're still considered overweight. Regardless of where you're starting, lifting weights is the most important thing ever because what happens when you lift weights is it allows your body to build muscle or hold on to muscle and retain it. A lot of you that are just doing cardio and doing a ton of cardio and eating in a calorie deficit, seeing your weight go down, you guys don't understand that a big portion of that weight loss that you're seeing is muscle mass. Now, we don't want to lose muscle mass. We wanna keep our muscle mass because the more muscle mass you have, the higher your metabolic rate's going to be. The higher your metabolic rate is, the more calories you're gonna be able to burn throughout the day while you're resting or just doing anything in general. We want to keep this muscle mass. Most importantly, we want to try to build more of it over time. The more muscle you have, the more calories you're gonna burn. Ladies, this one's also going to apply to you. I have a lot of female clients that I've worked with over the years, just general weight loss clients. And out of most of the females that I've worked with, a lot of you are intimidated by lifting weights. You think it's gonna make you bulky or it's gonna make you manly and a lot of you don't have the aspiration to look like that. I completely understand, but hear me out. Again, this process is going to take years and years and years. You don't have to lift weights with the mentality of I wanna get stronger, stronger, stronger and try to build as much human, muscle mass as humanly possible. But you do need to have the mentality that if you just focus on trying to grow some muscle mass or retain the muscle mass that you have instead of just you know crushing yourself with cardio, it's gonna prevent a lot of things that you women end up hating about yourself at the end. And not just women, guys, you end up doing the exact same thing if you're not lifting weights. But for females, typically, the way that it works is they start getting upset with the way that they are looking and the way that they are feeling. Ladies, I know you hear me out on this. Sometimes you'll get the flabbiness underneath the arms here that a lot of you hate, but what you don't realize is that if you just started training your triceps and doing tricep exercises over the course of your journey, you're going to build and develop better looking triceps that are going to fill in a lot of that area and keep your arms from looking that way. And that goes for all your body parts, including your glutes, including your quads, your legs, your calves, all of it. So lifting weights is going to be important. You want to put a little bit of muscle mass on your body because not only are we gonna do the metabolic rate like we talked about with cardio, but we wanna focus on the end result of how you look. If you are simply crushing yourself with cardio and crushing yourself with a very low calorie diet intake, 
you're gonna lose a lot of muscle mass and you're gonna end up looking very soft or very flabby in you know, some of your words. And I don't wanna see that happen to you. So please heed my warning, put on a hoodie, Put your hood up over your head. Put your headphones on. Don't focus on what's going on around you. Don't worry about what other people are thinking of you. I promise you the gym is the one place where you can go where everybody is on the same page. And if you don't know how to use machines or equipment inside of your facility or a facility that you're thinking about going to, all you have to do is ask the person that works there or make sure you just look at the picture. Start with the weight extremely light until you get an idea of how the machine works and how it's gonna make you feel and all of this stuff. Don't let this stupid stuff intimidate you and keep you from training and lifting weights. Lifting weights is not going to get you massively big and bulky like this like a lot of people are afraid of. Lifting weights is going to be crucial for maintaining as much muscle mass as humanly possible, especially if you are significantly overweight. We want to ensure that you're holding on to to that muscle mass and the only way you're going to be able to hold on to that muscle mass or at least as much of it as possible is by lifting weights so please understand that that part of the process is also just as important as your cardio and nutrition those three things are going to be the most important things that you guys can execute consistently nutrition cardio and weightlifting so make sure you guys are in the gym you're weightlifting at least three to five days a week, depending on your schedule and trying to get some form of weight training in to keep as much of that essential muscle mass as humanly possible. Don't skip the gym. Tip number five when it comes to weight loss is going to be probably one of the most important things. Trust the process. That is huge because a lot of you guys don't believe in yourself. You don't trust yourself. Before you even get started, you are already doubting your ability. Your friends are telling you it's not gonna work. Your family is trying to get you to go out every Friday, Saturday night to party, have drinks, get together, eat a bunch of crappy food, do a barbecue in the backyard this summer. People around you, are going to try to knock you down. They're going to tell you that what you're doing is stupid, it doesn't make sense, you're just gonna quit. Oh, another diet, here we go again, it's just gonna fail. It's already happening around you. Just look around. And for some of you that are getting started, you understand that what I'm saying is absolutely true. When I first started my weight loss journey, it was probably my hundredth time trying to get started in some capacity to lose weight. The amount of people around me that did not think that I was going to achieve what I achieved was staggering, okay? But I trusted myself, I believed in myself, and I was going to fucking prove it to myself more than anybody that I was gonna accomplish the goal that I set for myself. I want you guys to have that same power. I want you to have that same capability. But in order to do that, you have to trust the process. You have to understand that all of this stuff is the process. And if you can trust this process instead of questioning every single thing that someone says, you're more likely to succeed. The truth is, there's gonna be 100,000 people give you 100,000 different opinions on how to lose weight. Take it all in. Don't question everything, but take it all in because every single person has had their own journey that is talking about this stuff. And there's gonna be different tips and different suggestions and different things to try. And you know, it never gets boring when you're open to new possibilities and new ideas, implementing new things. I can tell you guys what works for me and has worked for hundreds of the clients that I've coached over the years. And you know, at the end of the day, it's gonna be up to you to try it or implement it in some capacity. But what I don't wanna see happen is you start to believe the circle of people around you telling you that you're gonna fail and that it's not gonna work and that you're never gonna achieve what you wanna achieve. Don't believe these people. Understand that there is going to be a lot of ups and downs when it comes to this. There's gonna be times where you're like, I don't wanna go to the gym. I'm just, I'm gonna take a few days off. That is okay. Understand that that is okay. This is part of your process. This is part of your journey. And as long as you truly, deep down in your bones, know that you have what it takes to achieve this, you're going to achieve it. As long as you put one foot in front of the other, regardless of any negativity that may come your way from it, you will understand as you go along that this is becoming possible. That scale is gonna keep going down. You're gonna start looking more and more fit. You're gonna have to go clothes shopping three or four times in a year because the amount of weight that you may be losing is significant as long as you are following these key concepts as well as other concepts that you're gonna hear from a lot of other people over the years. This process is possible, but you have to trust yourself. You have to believe in yourself and you have to understand that it's going to take time and that there's going to be waves. 
okay? It's just going to be. It's just how it works. Our schedules get busy. Our kids' schedules get busy. The time becomes an issue. This is where waking up earlier is going to fix that, allow you to have more time. And everything just starts to kind of get repetitive. But if you get yourself in the motion and understand that repetitiveness is the process, you're going to win. You're gonna win. I promise you, you're gonna win. You just have to trust your process. You have to trust it. And as long as you trust the process, no matter how long the process takes, I promise you, you will get what you want to be. I promise you, when it comes to weight loss, these five things will get you five steps closer than you have ever been to achieving your dream, your goal, and getting ultimately the victory of looking how you want to look. This is my five tips for weight loss. It may be different than the last guy you watched that had five tips, or the guy before that that had five tips, or the guy before that. All I'm asking you to do is think about the tips that I'm giving you. As someone that's lost 200 pounds, that 10 years ago was never even interested in health and fitness, but became a pretty damn good qualified expert in health and fitness, I'm here to tell you guys that this is possible, because I did it, and I've helped hundreds of clients do it, with these five key steps to be implemented first and foremost before any. I love you guys, and if this video helped you, I need you to do me a favor. Drop me a like, please subscribe as well, because I'm making all kinds of content like this going forward. It's gonna be able to help you guys at home achieve your victory, all right? And if you haven't followed me yet on TikTok, there is over 2,000 videos on TikTok, with 240 plus thousand people following me there under the same name, and if this night, you guys can find me there as well. Visit the link in my description if you guys need any type of supplements or anything like that. I own a bunch of different companies, and I would love if you guys would show me some support if there's anything that you need, because it benefits the channel and allows us to continue making more and more content for you. Hope you guys all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon on the next video.